The joy of seeing that it's going to be reinstalled and reused and not just destroyed, that was very exciting for me to see that happen. Frank Matranga is an artist who was commissioned by the county to do six tile murals on six different county libraries. One day, a young man came to me. He said, Frank, I just got a commission to do the La Cañada Library mural, and I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. It's too big for me. Do you want to do it? And I said, well, yeah, sure. So he said, talk to these people, the, to the architect. And I went into this architect's office and hit it off big with the architect, and they gave me the job. When Dynvor came up, I just got a call from this county. They said, how much will you charge to do this mural? And I told them, they said, okay, go. The library decided pretty much right away that they wanted to take the mural with them. It was a beloved mural. The library staff at Diamond Bar wanted it to come with them to the new location. Well, initially we were, I was asked to assess the possibility of taking this mural from the original library and moving it over to the new one. Initially, the challenges were just getting them off the wall and watching them go into pieces and making sure that all of the fragments were accounted for and making sure that our uh, documentation was sufficient to ensure that it would be put up the way it was supposed to be put up. So that was challenging all the way through. There wasn't really a moment where I was like, not a little bit worried that we were going to get out there and, and have some trouble, you know, making sure that everything went where it was supposed to go. I think the most hair-raising part of the process was taking the tiles off the wall. People who were working with the conservator were all professional art handlers. Their job is to never break things. Moving a mural like this is the last thing anybody ever wants to do, but in this case it was the, you know, the choice was either abandoning this mural and leaving it to be uh, deaccessioned or figuring out a way to reuse it. A lot of people were very concerned they'd see it being taken off gosh, what, what are you doing with that? You can't take that away. And we'd say, no, we're taking it with us. Uh, it's going off to get restored. First, I faced the tiles. I put a protective uh, cheesecloth and adhesive coating on them so if there was any breakage, they would stay together. We had to create a system of numbering and labeling so things would go back in order. Everything has to go up little by little by little. And if you go too far on one side, it will could be problems over here. So you have to do it everything as you go step by step. Once it started to go up, there was just that initial challenge of making sure that everything was exactly the way we thought it was supposed to be. There were some broken tiles, and uh, we were able to replace them, and I was able to match the colors. It was great that he was able to make the replacements. She and her team cleaned and repaired some of the major cracks on the tiles, and then finally brought the tiles to the new location and installed them. We clean them and take the mortar off the back. The original configuration, they were split between the inside and outside entryway, so it was really wonderful to see them all together, framed in a single place. Seeing it now, one whole design is, is very gratifying. I, I love it. I, can, I see it all anew, because before you're looking only a part of it, and now I'm seeing the whole mural together, and the design still stands out, and I was very pleased to see that. Every reaction to this has been positive, overwhelmingly positive. Everyone that sees it in its new spot says how beautiful it is and how much more they appreciate it. If there's a sense that it belongs to the community, it is revered and protected more. And I really did get a sense with this mural. I'm sure some of my murals are going to be around 100 years from now, and some of them are not going to be around 100 years from now because buildings move and, you know, whatever happens. Tastes change. So you have this new building, but you have the original artwork from the old building, and it tells the story of where we came from. And I think it's really important to have that connection to the past. I was at the old library for 35 years, so they're sort of happy that we have a little bit of the old and with the new. You know, people noticed it more because we were doing something to it, and they realized that it was a part of their library. And I had dozens of people asking what we were doing and why. So that, to me, is a successful piece of public art. To bring it to the community and have them be excited about it and say, wow, this is in our town, and this is really neat, and they want to show it off to other people and, uh, and take pictures of it and, you know, that kind of thing. That just, that, that kind of thing is icing on the cake, really. And I like to see that kind of thing happen.